Barclays has this internal ranking of investment banking clients. They have, you know, platinum, diamond, gold, and they also have so-called silver clients Ooh. who, you know, just basically, basically don't do enough transactions with Barclays. And now, according to the FD, they're considering dropping potentially two and a half thousand of those clients. Barclays has over 10,000 in total. And of course, the move is to free up uh, capital. That's, that's the key thing. But it's um, a very fluid situation. There were also reports of job cuts last week, up to 2,000 job cuts in the, in the back office mainly. Um, yeah, and it's quite unclear just yet what, what will actually happen. I'm sure ranking clients isn't that unusual, but for some reason it reminds me it's like Mean Girls Burn Book for banking or something <laughs> like that. Um, to Manis' point, I mean, what sort of viable alternatives are there for, for clients to shop around at banks right now if they're getting the axe from Barclays? So to be fair, my first thought was Deutsche Numis. Remember, Deutsche Bank has bought Numis earlier this year to you know, gain an edge in the, in the uh, UK investment banking space. Mm. So they could see a windfall, but uh, I think their cap is sort of 500 mil uh, um, in market cap uh, for Numis. And I guess, you know, one of the usual suspects, UBS, could uh, have, a, have a bit of a windfall there.